Christmas, everybody. There's been a big change in energy in the last, I'd say, week, week and a half. Um, finally, that those old programs of feeling like you're not enough, like no matter what you do, you're not going to get to fulfill your soul's mission. All those horrible, heavy, dense, third dimensional belief systems that many of us, especially us super sensitives, picked up along the way and um, had to revisit throughout some, some of October, but mostly um, from what I'm noticing with people I work with from November and also some of early December, but November was definitely um, homework time. It was definitely a time that we had to really dig deep into our resources, really accept the challenge of integrating, transforming those negative beliefs that we've had about ourselves. The winter solstice this year, 2018, has brought tremendous relief and um, lightness, much needed lightness and clarity. And the lesson I keep getting again and again from spirit is that even though circumstances may not change, even though the situations you're in this Christmas the problems might all still be there. Your inner state, how you feel on the inside, how you feel about yourself, that has to be unconditional. It has to be without rules or regulations. In a world, an external world that is just changing, constantly changing, constantly moving, shifting, evolving we need to retreat to our internal selves the part of you that is unchanging the part of you that is forever eternal the go the god source part of you which is all of you because really all of this is just an expression of that source energy and that's what I've learned in the past two three months even though there's things around me that I want to change or that make me uncomfortable or programs running that don't belong to me beliefs that were taught to me by society or lies that were told to me as a child about my worthiness, about what I deserve, about who I am, even though those things are not true and they're not comfortable. I've learned that I can rely on my internal constant source self and that that is more than enough. There is a beautiful movement going on. Marissa Peer has started it and it's like it's, it's like she's created what I wanted to create on a global scale. The I am enough, hashtag I am enough movement. But I say we are more than enough. We are not just enough. We are absolute. We are everything. We are everything and nothing. And in the nothingness is everything. And... We are more than enough. You are more than enough. So this time now is about enjoying the expression of that absolute worthiness, that absolute power that, that is unchanging, the source self you and all the other details of your life, all the other little nitty gritty things that may not sit so comfortably have to be they have to be irrelevant now. 
and we have to live from that space. We have to make our next decisions from that source space. Making decisions from panic, from stress, from fear, will never ever have the results that we want. It will just lead to more panic and more fear where we end up from those decisions. So if your new year is pending new decisions from you, I urge you to take some time to rest, hibernate, recuperate, be with people you love, people you like, people who respect you, people who honor you, whether that's soul family, blood family, whatever that is for you. And just take a breather, take a deep breath. You know, that Whitney Houston song, exhale, time to exhale. We will exhale. That's, that's what this Christmas is all about. <sighs> Taking that exhale. And knowing that everything is, everything is exactly the way it needs to be right now. And seeing the beauty in that, you know, even in the mess, like, you know, um, I'm, I'm staying in uh, my partner's family house right now. It's Christmas Day. I'm having a great Christmas, I have to say. It's the first time in my 37 years that I've actually spent Christmas with somebody else. In it like somebody else's family and been away from my own family. And, you know, since my dad died, I wanted to break the traditions of Christmas because it felt timely. It felt like the, it was time to do something different, go somewhere new, spend it with different people, just shake it up, you know, because it just wasn't the same when my dad transitioned. And I think if you try to recreate the same thing over and over again, even though you've evolved and you've grown, I think it just causes pain. It just causes too much nostalgia. Um. So this was a breath of fresh air to come here. It's been like being in a beautiful Christmas film, this huge big family that I'm not used to and having everybody and it's just been, it's been so much fun and so refreshing and so new and different. And that's part of the shift, you know, I was able to manifest that and, and transition into that and have this experience because it's a reflection of the shifts that's happening in me. So take note of those shifts that you're feeling. Any way you're seeing those, the evolution of that come out. And I can actually hear that I'm being called for dinner. I can hear the kids being called in for dinner now. So it's Christmas dinner time. So Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody. I love you from my soul to yours. I look forward to spending more time with you in the new year and really delving deep, deeper and deeper into the life of spirit and source and being a super sensitive. God bless.